Welcome to March Reset friends. We are going to reflect on the month of February as we prepare for the upcoming month March while we run some errands. Let's take a look at our highs and lows, what worked, what didn't work and what goals we are setting for the upcoming month. We're going in. We go to school. Okay, babe, we're getting ready for the month of March. And usually I like to just reflect on the previous month. So tell us, what was your high for the month of March? My high for the month of March. One high for the month of March. March or February. Oh, February, sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> we're preparing for March, but we're looking back in February. So what was your... So my high for February was going off on vacation yeah that's my high too <laughs> like um my high just, is that my husband know, is home so they are looking forward to that and all of those things that was, that was a good point and uh and low, low, yes i i felt bad for somebody that i thought was being treated unfairly at mm. um yeah i just thought it was it was a bit unfair so okay my high like i said was the fact that my husband is on vacation i always like it i love it when he's when he's home and we get some extra time together mm. and my low was something that we were working on we were working on that didn't pan out so i my toxic traits is that i get excited <laughs> prematurely i get very excited prematurely and then when something doesn't work out i i get sad it's, it's a cycle but that's okay because i bounce back pretty quick wouldn't you say yeah yeah I, I don't dwell in it but i do like like get very excited and then when it doesn't work out get very sad but then i get over it very <laughs> Something that didn't work in the month of February was in the month of February I got so busy I didn't use the prayer journal. Mm. Did you use it in January though? I did. I did. Yeah. I did. Not a lot, but I was getting into it. Oh, okay. Um, but so February for, for some reason. For his birthday, I I That's got him. Uh, very similar to what I used. Oh, I didn't know you were using it. Yeah, it's actually my computer bag. Ah. So when I go to work, um, usually I choose some call. So when I'm on call at night, so those things, I'll go through it. Um, okay. I made an entry and everything. So yeah. what's something that didn't work in February? Yeah, that worked. That worked in February. Um, I think us actually talking and planning about like when when I go on and exercise and play sports and do football mm -hmm. like that would I felt like I got a lot more time to play football. Okay so for context Ibrahim's preferred method of um, exercise is playing football. Yeah I'm not a gym rat. Yeah he doesn't like gym so it takes a lot of compromise and working out for him to be able to go yeah and, and early communication so yeah we started doing like okay this day this day this day i go so like we know beforehand like yeah. it's part of the schedule so i think that would yeah and then so, i'll be like okay but i'm working tonight so i need to nap during this time right, so let me so, nap but then after that you can go be right so it doesn't clash yeah so i think that would then you talk a little bit in your nose and then when you say in the words you just use z, 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 z instead of z tell the people what you're doing at the market embassy getting a visa mm.
Imagine an African needing a visa to go to an African country. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to change. <laughs> What didn't work? I didn't go to the gym, guys. <laughs> Remember, I said last month I was gonna sign up for the gym. No, it didn't work. So I'm not gonna feel guilty. I'm just going to put it off for the month of April. You're not going uh, to April, be it. Not April, me. So we'll start fresh in the last <laughs> six months of the year. <laughs> But what worked? What worked? So, um, I have been doing really well in reading to the kids. It's my goal to make our culture, the family culture, one of reading and enjoying reading. And I've been making an effort to do it more throughout the day. So, at breakfast, sometimes when they eat lunch, while they're eating, I sit down and I read to them. Bedtime, in the evenings, I feel like this month. I it, it it I was very um how do you say I was very cognizant or in, intentional I was very intentional about reading to the kids and it worked well. What we doing again? Huh? What we doing? We are rotating the tires. So even though it's four-wheel drive, it's predominantly front and then the back tires kick in when needed. So the front tend to wear out faster than the back. So we just switch on the to front to the back and that. came from visiting my grandmother so um where were we oh what about our goals for the month of march what some of your goals for the month of march oh one of my goals is to rest to just rest and regroup yeah that's exactly how i wrote it rest um, and regroup. to just rest and regroup um i just feel a little Tired. tired. Yeah, I know. So, um, ends of vacation. So it's a rest, regroup, and just make plans. For make plans. Um, this new season coming so, up. So, so the plan for March is to make plans. <laughs> yeah. We we getting ready for a new month. What I feel like, well, at least I've I've heard a few studies that show that most people give up on their goals like mid-February so so you know like the, give up yeah like you know the new year starts and you all excited the first week first two weeks first three weeks in January but you know by the uh -huh. time February gets around you you haven't been as consistent as you want or you uh -huh. haven't been achieving what you want so what advice would you give to somebody who find themselves in that situation so the goals that they set at the beginning of the year is just not working out as they had originally imagined give them three tips three alone just three your your fundamental three <laughs> well well one important thing to always do um at least that's one thing i do is to reevaluate the goals yeah that was so one of mine you you have to sit and think is this important is this me? important because you could you you change so your goals are the things that maybe you set out to do whether it's to travel europe or to go to a gym what it is that you might have set out to do in november december it's possible that things could have happened that your perspective or That's the way changed. you look at things has changed and so so re reevaluating and then the second thing is redefining the goal redefining is is actually looking at the nitty gritties of the goal and being able to say okay maybe i want to go um let's say for example using the same thing of going traveling europe but now you think I might not be able to go to the five countries I initially planned to mm -hmm. do, but maybe I could go to two. 
So you need to r sit down and regroup. To be realistic, and, and you're saying. Yeah, that's a, the last one. Well, or you could put that in there and say, be realistic and to do a feasibility study and see what it is that you can do and what it is that what is possible, what is needed um, to be able to assess. So it's it's a it's a cycle. Okay. And then the last thing, that was the last one of the bonus, mm -hmm. is to be courageous, because whenever you do the goals or you set certain things that you want. You have to be courageous. You have to be bold and courageous. Um, that's something I learned in Joshua. Joshua, one of the greatest leaders of the Israelites in the Bible and generals for 33 kings. And one of the things that God told him was be strong and courageous. And then he says um, to now follow the word of God and everything. So sometimes when you have to do things or you have to be strong and courageous. So you 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 might maybe not be doing your goals or doing as as much as you thought you could but you have to also you have to forgive yourself and you have to be patient with yeah, yourself like me. i haven't been going to the gym i have to forgive myself <laughs> yeah, so you, you have to it's it's easier if if some extreme hurricane or something happens that prevents you from doing what it is You're that like maybe you want to do but if if you feel like oh it's my fault i'm not doing it again then then you need that 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 oomph that mentality that's able to get you up and to persevere no matter what and to go after it again same cycle to redefine reevaluate and and look at the things that that needs to be done but all with that mentality of you know be strong and be courageous because sometimes the things that you need to do require they, they require bravery they require courage mm -hmm. it takes courage to be able to reevaluate your goal and say um i wanted to start a business in 2023 but i think that now i should not start a business i should rather understudy somebody who has a business it takes courage to be able to come out and say that it takes courage to be able to redefine your goal and say um, these are the things that they no longer align with the person i've grown to be over the past few years so this is something i wanted to do four years ago but now i look into do something a little different so yeah so something i would add to the conversation is to to be practical about your goals i think that sometimes when we set goals like we we don't factor in like practical steps that you can take so for example a goal may have been to be healthy that's pretty vague but what are you going to do to be healthy but then not only that but what are the small steps that you can take towards mm -hmm. that goal so for example you want to you you know if, if be healthy is a goal that you've not been doing so well since the year started you can reevaluate you know okay the two things that I want to be healthier in is the the way that I eat and how often I exercise, you know. But then you don't make a goal to go to the gym every single day when previously you were not going at all. It's going to be difficult. So you, you pace yourself and you say, you know what, every week I'm going to work out twice for 20 minutes. And you start off that way. That doesn't necessarily mean you finish that way, but mm -hmm. it, it gives you like a boost of motivation to keep going. And then the thing about it is with our goals, consistency plays a huge role. Like Small steps. It's mm -hmm. small steps repeatedly over and over again that really makes a difference. But not just one month you decide you're going all into the gym and you stick to the gym for one month and then two months later, like myself, you don't go. And then another month you go for two weeks and then it's just the small steps consistently. So that's what i would say like if you have if you set a goal at the beginning of the year and it's just not working out see if one it still matters to you if it's still important to you yeah. and then try to figure out what are the smaller steps that you can take and then troubleshoot also mm -hmm. like what is not working what's not working and how is it that you can fix it so those are the tips that i would offer yeah, and, and sometimes you just have to just do it yeah yeah <laughs> Like you talk, 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 plan, plan, plan. But, do um, but you just have to, you know, muster that courage and bravery to just act, right? That's why it says what the saying: sh shoot for the moon. If you miss, you may land among, among the stars. The stars. Like that, so yeah. it, it's an action word: shoot. This is a plan to go to the moon. No, you can plan to go to the moon, but eventually you have to shoot. You have to make do the action, yeah. and then even if maybe you don't. Um, succeed in that particular aspect or the way you initially intended it will still be a success yeah Bella, don't leave her she's sleeping let's go you're going to cry yeah she's going to cry
gonna cry again. We picked up the kids and now we're getting ready for a cozy night in. I hope this video proved useful for you. I hope you guys had a good February and even if you didn't, every new month this is why i like resets this is why i like sundays because i feel like every sunday every month and it's just an opportunity to reset and get ready for the upcoming month and just start first so even if february was not a good month for you i highly encourage you get a cute notebook get a nice pen your favorite drink have a seat and just look back at the month and try to figure out what worked what didn't work what you can improve on for the next year and look forward to the upcoming month and what you can improve on what you can work on just remember that it's the things that we do every day that counts and not the big experiences so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one bye